Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Full Force News Burst Live special with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80, brought to you by Generals Joe's Reborn.com. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, yeah, so of course, we went live yesterday because of leaks. Um, and then this morning, we were gifted with the same thing, pretty much a couple more pictures, which is nice, but we did get some more answers. Um, of course, <clears throat> it did turn out to be shockwave, which is great. I know there were, I remember when I first, when I first posted about this, when this image popped up, um, I was kind of like, um, I think when I first looked at it, I just instantly thought, oh, steel core with a Ram, Night Force Ram, that's pretty cool. And didn't really give it enough study before it went, before I posted it about it. And a lot of people were like, it's Shockwave. And I'm like, well, oh, yeah, look, it does look, yeah, I think you're right. So we did our little show and I was like, yeah, I think it is Shockwave. And um, when we actually did the live <clears throat> and we got some weird, we had some weird comments of people going, it's just a still call. Why, why do you think it's Shockwave and stuff like that? And it's, well, well, because it looks like Shockwave because <laughs> of the secondary and the digital camo and all that kind of stuff. And it turned out to be Shockwave, which is really cool. We'll be talking about that tonight. <clears throat> in a bit more detail, excuse me, we'll also be getting into some comics news because, yes, uh, Skybound have announced the follow-up miniseries after Duke and Cobra Commander. Yeah, they'll be Scarlet and Destro, so we'll be talking about that first. Uh, and then, of course, we'll be getting into the Walmart Collecticon reveal. Now, a lot of people are also asking me, what, is there any more coming from Walmart Collecticon? I don't think so. I believe this is all we're getting this time around. Uh, I say all we're getting. Vehicle, figure and vehicle, you know, no, no try out experimental AI features. No, hey, thanks. Um, not right now. Not while I'm in the middle of a stream. How about you chill out? Um, yeah, so I think, you know, we, we had we had a, an, an image to go by last night, and uh, we kind of extracted quite a lot from it. We're, we're going to go through and have a look at some of the packaging images. We're going to look at the the usual render stuff that's on the back of the package and see if we can pull anything out of that. Probably not. Um, and obviously the actual, you know, um, shockwave head sculpt and everything. But anyway, let, and I don't think there's going to be anything else necessarily uh, coming for Walmart Let's Gone. Obviously they're doing a sneak peek. Last time they just showed everything off. So I don't see why that hasn't, I don't see why it would be different this time around um, in during the sneak peek kind of aspect. So, Probably not going to get anything else. But before we get stuck into um, Shockwave, gross, we're going to talk comics. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like a comics burst within a news burst. A comics news burst, if you will. Uh, yes, we are talking Skybound, and we are talking Scarlet and Destro miniseries. Uh, now, these will follow on from uh, Duke and Cobra Commander when they come to an end uh, on issue fives, I think they're doing. Five issue series is. So, um, yeah, this this looks really cool. So before we move on, spoiler alert, we will be looking at the previews um, in some sort of capacity. So if you don't want to see those, obviously you can kind of like, you know, maybe turn the, turn the volume off. And maybe just kind of like every now, check back every now and again until we get on to um, what's it called? <clears throat> Shockwave. But right now, let's talk Scarlet and Destro minis. Now, what are we saying so far, Chris? Well, what's happening is uh, she's the most fearsome fighting female in G.I. Joe. He's a chrome plated war hungry maniac allied with Cobra. Together, they no, each of them will have their own Energy on Universe comic book limited series this summer. Get ready for Scarlet and Destro. Superstar writer Kelly Thompson and artist Marco Ferrari will bring us Scarlet One on June the 5th, while no less than a team than writer Dan Waters and artist Andre Bressan will gift us with Destro One on June the 19th. Read on for full details and galleries of pages. And I'm just reading the, the blurb. Um, I was only joking. I wasn't actually going to read that. And then I did because it was funny. Um, now, 
Shana Scarlett O'Hara is about to take on the most dangerous Black Ops mission of her career, infiltrating the mysterious rising power in Japan known as the Arashikagi clan. Gosh, there she is. Um, now her one lead is a former partner, Jinx, turned Arashikagi enforcer. Now, Scarlet must use her skills to survive undercover and discover a shocking weapon that could change the balance of power on Earth. Impressive, right? So um, this is cool. We're getting, like, like I said at the beginning, we're getting um, new kind of teams on this. So um, Kelly Thompson, uh, famous for Black Widow, Birds of Prey, and artist Marco Ferrari, famous for Frontiersman. And we've even got some of the art uh, on show um, with the mm, preview pages. Um, and they're looking really good, actually. Really, really cool. Um, and they, obviously, with these two covers, I really like these two covers. Um, I love that one with Jinx on the front of it. Uh, kind of like holding the sword, ready to kind of like push it out of the. I love it. Very cool. Um, but uh, and also some other little cheeky ninjas down the bottom. I wonder if that's a, like a ninja coup sort of scenario in the black. Uh, and then of course you've got helicopters and it's it's cool. It's very cool. I love these covers actually. They're really really awesome. On top of that though, we've got these bangers. Look at that, a motorcycle. Who'd have thought it, eh? A motorcycle in GI Joe um, wouldn't have wouldn't have pegged that for today, would you guys? Well, yeah, of course we've got loads of motorcycles today, didn't we? Um, like it? I like her just you know just nonchalantly hossing over an explosion. Uh, looks like some sort of car she's just blown up as well with one of her like fancy crossbow bolts, and you see the tire kind of flipping out of that as well. Um, her work on Hawkeye was also stellar. Thank you, Diana. I didn't know she'd done that. Actually, that's pretty cool. Uh, Kelly Thompson's Black Widow series was really, really good, says Ryan. Um, it does, Benedict. I won't read that out, but yes, it does. Um, do, 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 do. McLeod needs a webcomic in lieu of the Marvel Ultim uh, Unlimited It's Jeff series. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Um, her costume is a blend of classified and classic. Ah, real American hero. It does. Um, I mean, they're, they're sticking pretty tight to the classified stylings. And of course, Retro Scarlet is out now. So, you know, like avail like revealed. So there you go. Uh, did Walking Dead start out as a comic? Yes, I believe it did, Rachel. Can we turn these stories into television series? Fingers crossed. Um, anyway, yeah, um, really like these covers. And there's a nice one there with the explosion background too. But the actual interiors look amazing. So in Monaco here, she's kind of like, creeping up on this uh like a little island sort of mansion scenario going on and she's popping her head out of the water and then of course when she gets she's kind of like wearing a really interesting sort of um like costume initially and then she gets rid of that and then she just gets into a even more interesting costume for the party um, but again, I like this kind of, this is almost like, this reminds me of when Arnie and Commando gets on the beach and he puts his uh, gear on and it's like, clink, clink. you see that one, she's putting the magazine in, she's like putting the silencer on. I can just see Arnie like putting the grenades on and all that kind of stuff. Uh, similar vibes, similar vibes, um, except slightly different outcomes, uh, I would say. Um, and yeah, like, yeah, just, and there she is ready, ready to hit this party up. Uh, and then the next image we have is her kind of like explaining to or you know, telling the team that she's operating with. I'm assuming, um, well, I say G.I. Joe, but at the moment we don't really know what kind of where we are in the time frame here. We don't know what's going to happen at the end of Duke and Cobra Commander. We don't know how developed G.I. Joe is going to be. We don't know where this is in the timeline necessarily. So she could either be communicating with G.I. Joe or she could be uh, just doing her undercover work. Um, with uh you know like maybe colonel hawk or whoever you know is is leading that uh but she's infiltrating this kind of uh this very weird kind of obviously it's going to be a weird party um and then on you can just see a little arashikagi tattoo on that lady's thigh on the um last panel there uh which is intriguing i wonder if that's jinx i wonder if that's jinx um but you know we'll probably find out at some point um we also have of course let's not forget Destro. Um, now, could we be looking at the Iron Grenadiers here, the classified Iron Grenadiers? We know obviously they're coming. They've been name only revealed, and then I've gone and 
told everyone what the code words are. So uh, we know that, um, that Judy, I think it is. We'll, we'll find out in a sec when we look at the, the listings again. But um, I wonder if this could be like a, a little ever so slight insight on what the classified Iron Grenadiers might look like. Um, very cool if so. I mean, they're just, they're Iron Grenadiers, aren't they? they that's what they look like. A lot of bat, are they bats parts that you, uh, on the other image on the left? Yeah, holding that gold AK. So get gangster. Um, um, Thompson's been nominated for three Eisners and has won one. She's great. She also did IDW's gem. Oh, I really, yeah, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm a big gem fan, um, as in the in the original cartoon. And um, yeah, I, I did I actually like the IDW series. I thought it was quite cool. Um, anywho, Iron Grenadiers, looking cool. And that is absolutely classified Destro. You can tell all the different kind of like um, textures and, and stuff on his suit and the lines and stuff. Uh, only that they've kind of like changed the collar a little bit on the right hand side. It's not; it doesn't have the kind of padded ribs, does it? On the on the one on the right. Anyway, amazing covers, and in the interiors are insane. There's also that third cover there, which is kind of like um, almost like a, I, f I forget the style, but it looks very. It's kind of like in that sort of Archer intro sort of vibe, isn't it? Where the squares are like some are connected, but some aren't. I quite like that, so it's quite nice. So you can separate some things out, and I think it, does anyone know what that style is called? Um, I'm sure there's like an art style for that. Um, and anyway, we're seeing lots of bats in the preview for this one, and they're effectively. It looks like they're taking they're taking some they're, they're almost like overthrowing some sort of government. It looks like, and that's all. That's like classic Destro, isn't it? Basically. Um, Skybound is doing this IP justice with all these brand new titles and then some. I have been so blown away by Skybound's approach so far. I mean, it was always going to be, I mean, you know, you're talking blooming, um, you know, Robert Kirkman, Walking Dead. Um, you, 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 there's, there's, a, there's a reason they're, they've done so well in their storytelling and their um you know in the kind of comic titles that they've had like th these these issues like duke and cobra commander and the transformers issues and void rivals have just been so good i i am so excited to get involved and, and read them the energy on universe is phenomenal and the fact that the real american hero kind of continuity is thriving again um with larry on Sk at skybound is just great um i'm really really kind of stoked um, with what Skybound are doing. So this just makes me like even more excited to see a Scarlet Mini and a Destro Mini too. Um, but yeah, loads of bats in this one. And then this is a pretty dope shot of them like jumping out of a helicopter. I, I would have said Aspid if it was the Aspid, but it doesn't look like, it just looks like a generic helicopter, doesn't it? Um, and then like flying into the battle basically. But they look pretty cool and upgraded by the look of it as well. Up, up, updated, upgraded uh, battle android troopers. Very, very nice, very nice indeed. Also, you know, we've talked about Iron Grenadiers um, and the fact that the bats are showing up in um, Destro's uh, comic. I know they're just standard bats in terms of the, what they're wearing and the colours and everything, but we've got Iron Grenadier bats coming as well. I wonder if they might make an appearance at some point in this particular comic. We shall see, I guess. Um, yeah, Scott says, makes sense to load up Destro series with bats. Got to prep everyone for those IG bats. I think I've done that. I think I'm the one that's uh, prepped everybody for that. Anyway, I like revealing bats on this show. If uh, you may, well, I, I didn't reveal the Arctic bat, but it was my interview with Lenny and Emily that, um, that provoked the official uh, confirmation. Uh, they confirmed on the show that that was indeed happening. An Arctic bat was around the corner. And um, that was kind of fun to have that, even though we'd seen it, we'd seen it visually. Um, but people were kind of like contemplating whether it was just back, background setting, um, back, uh, backdrop set uh, dressing, set dressing is the words I'm looking for. Set, you know, like customs that they'd made to kind of, you know, work with the environment that Snowjob was in. 
but we all knew they were coming. So it was uh, nice that they could kind of like, um, what's the word? Like, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, confirm it. And again, uh, I didn't necessarily officially confirm anything. I, it slipped out the IG bats, but that, you know, it is what it is. But this is really cool. Uh, and then again, we see the kind of government that they're uh, looking at, that Destro is looking to overthrow here on the last panel. Um, we also get, um, I haven't got these images, but we also have um, other covers that they censored. So there are more covers coming for both issues, but they censor because there's spoiler alerts on them. Now, whether that is like spoilers for the issues specifically, or if it's spoilers for, you know, figures, characters that we might see in the classified series, that could happen too, because we've had that sort of with um, Cobra Commander's cover, the one that was kind of um, uh, censored as well. Um, for, And I'm not going to say who's on it, because uh, I'm sure you all know already anyway. Um, but it's going to lead to a character that we're going to see in the classified series. Anywho, let's let's move on. So that's the comics. Um, I'm, I'm excited to talk with the Talking Joe guys, uh, aka Mark and Tim, at some point about this series again. I know Mark and I did a monthly very recently, uh, which I really enjoyed, actually. It was a lot of fun doing that with Mark. So we're going to try and do a, a bit more content together, uh, myself, Mark, and uh, Tim. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, can't wait to do that and talk more comics. Anyhow, that is the previews. Let's move on to a bit of Night Force News. Oh, Selector. Yes, Walmart Collecticon sneak peek. Although it's not sneak peek that we know. It's this, it's a sneak peek of that you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Um, thank you, Diana. Appreciate that. Um, I'm go Grant says, I'm going to take an educated guess and say the character on the spoiler from the Scarlet miniseries is either Snake Eyes or Storm Shadow. Could be. Um, I don't know, by the way. Um, is that Miles Mayhem in the last panel, says Max? Um, does look like him, doesn't it? But pro I don't know, probably not. <laughs> That'd be really cool, though. Get an early crossover in there before you even knew it. Night for shockwaves swatting in the jungle. Hey Scott, if 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 what was it? I've completely forgot. If shockwave can swat in the jungle, then muskrat can swamp in the dark. But that doesn't make any sense because we're we're doing something different now. Anyway, yes, shockwave. Uh, Jason shockwave faria and the night pursuit. To be specific on this one. Um, what's really funny, I told you about this the other day, didn't I, um, on the other, on the previous stream, but we were told that Night Force Shockwave was coming and we thought it was a, mis a misidentification of Wolf Spider. And it's looking more and more likely now that the information we were given was for this. And we just, we put two and two together and came up with like 25. Um, so this is kind of like, even though we were told this was coming, we didn't necessarily expect it, if that makes sense. So I kind I expected Night Force Shockwave to be done at some stage, just as I expect Night Force. It wasn't who else is in the Night Force? Night Force Falcon Outback. I expect all of those to be done at some stage. Des desperately hope that they do a Night Force Falcon, or with a new head though. Is all I'm going to say about that. Um, I was supposed to have a shave tonight, and I completely forgot to do that. Not that it makes any difference. I don't know why I thought that out and had to say it out loud. But I'm getting a bit annoyed with my beard at the moment. I keep doing this, and I wanted to shave it off before I did this, but it's too late now. I'll do it afterwards. Um, anyway, Bosch. This is what we're getting. Shockwave with a steel core. Well, it's not effectively what that is. It's a, bike, it's a motorcycle helmet for him, isn't it? It's safety is what it is. But it is a steel core, obviously, designed um, driver's helmet. So... In the, it's the same one that uh, Clutch has, but in a different color. I love the red visor. I think it's a really nice touch, uh, which actually I think the, I think, sorry, I've gone too far. I'm pretty sure Clutch's has a red visor as well, doesn't it? Probably does, actually. Anyway, um, yeah, loving the deco on the bike, I have to say. The bike looks beautiful. That kind of gray color with the gold and the copper, just really 
is is it's a nice it's it's vibes and then obviously you got the black and you've got and white on there too so there's a lot of like and kind of a silvery aspect on the wheels as well. There's a lot of deco on that, and it's really, it's really sexy. I, I'm vibing with it. Fun school hawk inspired, I think, or they just like the bike, says Max. Yeah, definitely got that kind of uh, street hawk vibe, doesn't it? Uh, which was a fun school um, release as well, wasn't it? Absolutely. Um, anywho, big loadout. So the wizard, I mean, a lot of people are talking about the price increase, uh, and I think it's just for the extra, adi the additional accessories they've thrown in with it. Uh, the helmet, the backpack, the drone, the, well, two rifles, one semi-automatic pistol, one pistol, and two knives. Um, you know, it's a, it's a decent loadout, um, and i i don't really have an issue with it with the price honestly like i feel like it's it's a it's a significant offering and it gets your night force shockwave which i, I definitely can't wait to have i'm a regular shockwave here <laughs> cheers like i'm gonna drink him um what so yeah i'm i'm just yeah i'm happy that shock night force shockwave is get, is getting released and brilliant stuff uh, police officer stole all of Big Ben's guns. I do like the fact that um, that was WJ. Oh, no, that was WJ that said that? Yeah. Uh, no, it was Scott that said that. Sorry. WJ said Python Patrol hasn't got a RAM yet. You're right, WJ. The Python Patrol don't have a RAM yet. Um, I don't know if they will. I think I could see I could see um, Zoran getting like a Dreadnought Ground Assaults kind of vibe or something, um, or Heart Wrencher or someone like that. I could definitely see... A, a dreadnought ground assault repaint of this definitely. Uh, maybe they could do that with like a storm rider sort of character. I don't know. Or you don't know. Um, Toy bounty hunter, as in a price increase to the from the original, like like from the tiger ram, shall we say? Um, like I said, I, I think the the extra additional accessories are where the price is is is. But yeah, you're right. Like the the, the trouble bubble was the, at the same price. Um, so you're totally right on that one. Um, I mean, people are going to complain about anything. If the price was the same, they'd be complaining about the price will change eventually. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've seen that a lot, where we haven't had an increase for a, a, quite a while now um, in terms of, like, the standard figures and certain price points, what have you. Um, you know, we, we had three packs at like 90 bucks for a while didn't we do you know what i'm saying and like there was the 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 the, the complaining is always well in the future it's going to go up it's like right okay um i don't know you you can complain about anything and everything you want really you could pick anything to complain about because it wouldn't necessarily vibe with what you want or what you like or what you think is good or whatever at the end of the day, I'm stoked that we're getting G.I. Joe figures so friggin' often. Can I keep up with it? Can I fudge? But I wouldn't have it any other way. Why would I don't I just I don't get it. I don't get the vitriol and the uh, aggression towards it all, honestly. Just like enjoy it or don't enjoy it. Or swear word off. Do you know what I mean? Is what I say. <laughs> Enjoy it or bugger off. Anyway, um, yeah, so the bike, pretty phenomenal. I love that deco on, on this bike. Um, and yeah, you get the sidecar and all that kind of jazz. Well, of course you would. It's the Ram. Why would you not? Um, and I really like the tampos they've utilized on this. I mean, we talked about this last night, but the Griffin tampo is really cool. And the patch is back, so he gets the he gets the kind of night force griffin holding a flame on over a globe uh, patch, uh, which is the same as Big Ben and Tunnel Rat. It's only shooter and I think it's only shooter that doesn't have it um, so far from the night force. Is that right? Wolf Spider. Wolf Spider doesn't have it. Wolf Spider has that Wolf Spider patch. So Shooter and Wolf Spider don't have it. But um, anyway, um, I love that Griffin. I love the use of it on the bike. And I love that that's become the theme of it. I think that's really, really neat. 
Um, 1027 is a nice touch, obviously, uh, connected connectivity to um, October 27th, 1027, as in the, the event on October the 27th, that is named after the address um, at the uh, Portucket, um Rhode Island uh, HQ. And what else was I going to say? I think that's it. I think that's all of the connectivity for 1027. Um, and then, of course, the Night Force logo is really nice on there, and have, they've got to, they've got to put the GI Joe branding on there. Of course, they have. It's all about branding and the special undercover forces that no one secret that no one should know about. Um, Tristan says, "Yeah, all the extra gear was probably to bring it up to the same price point as the more recent vehicle sets. Looks dope, though. Guess I'm getting another bike." Um, yeah. This is funny. McMurphy, that is spot on. Two days ago, Hasbro, stop releasing so many pre-orders. My wallet is crying today. Hasbro, is Shockwave all you've got? Come on, give us more Night Force. Exactly. Is the Griffin new for Night Force? Max, I, yes, it basically. Although I think Lenny said it was a play on the, uh, the wings on the um, Night Force, original Night Force um, sort of uh logo so he was playing up to that sort of you know well that he was playing up to that thinking that it was some sort of like wings sort of vibe that's what he, he kind of got that with the logo when he thought about it and with the wings he was thinking of um he went to um mythology and he was looking at the griffin as um you know what the griffin represents and I, 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 he actually, there was a whole spiel that he gave me that I ended up utilizing on an episode um, uh, and explaining, you know, this is what Lenny said about this. Um, but I can't, I, the, the ins and outs are sketchy, but effectively it was something like they, uh, it was like the protectors, I think it was effectively. So because they're protectors, um, Night Force are seen as this like team that protect the the globe not just the united states of america but the globe from what you would call and i'm not saying like x files or men in black but like otherworldly threats right so that was the idea behind it because obviously we're dealing with dark energy on we're dealing with transformers we're dealing with weirder crazy things uh mole rats for example so he said that like the Griffin's a protector, the protect they're the protectors, so they're taking on the Griffin as the um, as this particular creature, as this particular mascot for the for the team, and um, yeah, and obviously that the other the other aspect of it on the patch specifically was that the Griffin is holding a flame, and it's like bringing the light where to the darkness, the darkness being this weird, unknown, mysterious threats around the globe so it's all kind of tied in to this narrative and that's where the griffin comes from and why it was born in the first place for night force so it's new to night force but um like i said that's where it came out of lenny's brain basically um anyway shockwave is obviously a slightly different build isn't is he not he is um he is it the same arms he doesn't have the he doesn't have the wrist gauntlets but i I want to say the arms don't look incredibly different, but they might be. There might be Duke arms as well. Um, and then, of course, you've got the uh, the legs that can pull, are the Duke legs, I believe, aren't they? I think. You're going to have to help me out on that one, guys, because I can't. I do not know the builds on these uh, figures well enough. But anyway, um, we obviously, you know, the the, more, the most important shock wavy bits are there: the secondary and the head and the cap. So that's all that matters at the end of the day. Scrap Iron Arms now instead of Dusty's. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, mate. Um, do, 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 do. No camo on his arms. Anyone bummed by that? Uh, actually, no, because he doesn't have any camo at all on the original figure. Let's have a look at that. So he was just very plain. Uh, good figure, though. Don't get me wrong. I love this figure. But in terms of camo, didn't exist on the Night Force, um, original Night Force Shockwave. So I'm really happy they put some on at all. 
um, you know, we get the kind of we get a very close approximation uh, with the kind of green hits on the vest as well, which you can't really see on that image very well, but there are green hits on that vest. Uh, is effectively green that vest? I think it's very dark green. Um, and then you've got the so the pants they've really upgraded. Uh, they've upgraded his pants hilariously enough uh, to kind of have that kind of digital camo. Obviously, you've got the digital kind of camo hits on the hat as well on the cap. Uh, in much the same way as the original cap too, I think. Obviously, just in diff with different um, uh, pattern with yeah, different color. I would say obviously gray, light gray, dark gray. Um, doesn't look like they fixed his hat. No, the hat's gonna be the same, isn't it? It's exactly the same cap. Um, you say fixed, but I don't know. I think he looked good. Like from the side. I have no issues. I think from the front, it can look a little bit kind of tall, a little high, but I don't know. I think he looks great. I don't think it needs fixing necessarily. Um, mm, 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 mm. What else are we saying in here? Shockwave's loadout is like Tackleberries from Police Academy. Oh, man. Taking me back there, mate. Um, God, I used to love the Police Academy movies. Where, where did you learn to speak, speak English? Police Academy movies. That was from Wayne's World, I think. I just that quote. I really need Blowtorch and Lifeline announced soon. I may cry otherwise. Did you? It'll happen, mate. We'll get those characters eventually. Don't you worry. Um, or maybe he's just wearing camo pants only. No worries for me. But yeah, doesn't look like they, uh, they read that one. Uh, fancy pants, says Jeremy. Yeah, a little bit. I know. I think I'm really happy with what they've done, how uh, they've translated the, the figure over and I'm glad they've hit it with more green deco as well like the 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 uh you know the holsters and sheaths and the secondary I love the fact they've gone you know to that extreme with it um why were shockwave's head and pistol so large says Ryan uh yeah his pistol was massive sometimes I think they just didn't they just didn't get the scale right sometimes with the weapons spearhead's rifle the Saw Viper. The Saw Viper has a rifle that's taller than the figure. It doesn't make any sense. That feels like a sec a two-up like weapon on the Saw Viper. Um, and he did have a bit of a chonky noggin, didn't he, old sh uh, Shockwave? Um, anyway, uh, he does actually get a backpack as well, the Firefly backpack. So it's nice that we get another back. Well, not another backpack, but we get a backpack. And the drone, of course, which uh, slots in nicely, uh, like so. Um, also, no, we don't get the the stick of dynamite, but that kind of makes sense because Shockwave isn't blowing things up with a stick of dynamite, is he? Or a bundle of dynamite, actually, a bundle of sticks of dynamite. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, that's that's your Shockwave aspect, and the let's get let's move on to the packaging because it's really nice. Um, I think this packaging works really well with Night Force. I think this is what should have been. The Night Force only packaging, that kind of dark minimalist. Uh, you get the blue in there. You get the orange of the Night Force logo in there too. I think that would have been really cool. And then the Tiger Force one could have could have had like fancy Tiger Strut, or maybe even the vehicle, the Tiger Force vehicle um, artwork, kind of like phasing across it. Do you know what I mean? Like the kind of white brown uh, into the yellow sort of like phasing as the Tiger color does on the vehicles. With then the stripes in the on the on the yellow and the orange, I think that would have been so cool. And then for the standard, um, you could have had like a maybe like a, I don't know, maybe like a blue or something like that. So on a green for the for the GI Joes and red for Cobra. Or something. I don't know, just kind of like switch it up a bit. But now everything is effectively this, isn't it? Um, which again, I don't have a massive issue with. Um, they'll probably change it next week anyway, right? It'll, it'll be changed. They'll change it again next month. Um, I'm just kidding, of course. So we can see everything as well. So there you go. Mirror, uh, mirror, um, window packaging. Mirror packaging would be cooler. And that's what they should do for Zaymont and Tomax. Does hit and run feel somewhat overdue? I have other wants, obviously, but he feels like he should have been a 2023. He'll be whenever they make him. But yeah, uh, the. That that's the thing as well. You got you got to take into consideration there are a lot of characters in GI Joe, and I wouldn't necessarily say we've had characters that I'm surprised are ahead of Hit and Run. I mean, some 
maybe you could you could argue like I'm a bit surprised maybe Shooter got in ahead of Hit and Run. I'm a bit surprised Kamakura got in ahead of Hit and Run. But other than that, I mean it's a it's a lot of characters in GI Joe, and also you got to hold some big hitters. And I think Hit and Run, no pun intended, actually that was, um, is a pretty decent heavy hitter do you know what i mean like i think you want to hold back a few and i think hit and run lifeline blooming dial tone who's coming right now of course mainframe um who else with repeater um footloose um you name it there's so many like maybe it's just me projecting chris it is isn't it of, of course it is but like at the same time we'll get him Wetsuit, Flash, Grand Slam, all there's so many. Uh, short fuse, Colonel Hawk, all the OGs. Yeah, wetsuit indeed, absolutely. Uh, Deep six, you know, there's loads. Law and order, for goodness sake. We tried it the other way, but it didn't work. Um, anywho, I agree. I think hit and run is a beauty. Could be a deluxe figure, Benedict. I think I think that would be a great option. Um, and also. I would I I would also think you could do a working parachute with hit and run as a uh, like a homage to the target exclusive I think it was target exclusive back in the day where he came with that um you know the the parachute but also I think you could kit him out with so much cool stuff lots of climbing gear um the bag the duffel bag with the rope in it and everything it would be so cool like there's so many cool things you could do with hit and run um, and then, of course, you've got Tiger Force repaints. You've got Night Force repa repaints. He, he's one of those that, that straddles both sub teams, um, both of the, the you know the big ones, the main ones. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he's yeah, yeah. Heavy duty, fast drop, guys. Ambush. There's so many, so many that I would probably put on the same level as Hit and Run. But there's there's a lot. Pop a parachute on a moving ram cycle and so much fun commences. Indeed, Diana. Uh, we should all try that. Now, packaging, there you go. There's the front of it. The most important part, though, is this bit. Figure render looks phenomenal on the back of this. Um, could you guys spot anything? The only thing I can really see here is the location homage to the other Night Force figures, which is this kind of jungle, jungle is massive setting with the dark energy on crystals creeping out, the cave entrance in the background uh so very much in keeping um with the with what we've seen so far in all the other night force releases right either in a cave in a mine or outside it in the jungle um so that's the only thing i can really gather in terms of that someone mentioned the other day they said is that a mech suit behind him through the kind of foliage and I don't know is the answer to that question, but I guess to the right, ever so slightly to the right of Shockwave on the motorcycle, there's that kind of like the bit where the the kind of like the the foliage kind of hangs down, and there's something there. And someone said, "Is that a, a mech suit?" And I don't know is the answer. And I'm going to have another look at it close up because I couldn't really see anything. I don't know. I really don't know what... Oh, do you know what? I've just seen something. I don't know what it is, but something is just like... Oh, it's it's got... It's made me shiver a bit at how creepy looking it is. You might not be able to see it um, necessarily on this image, but it kind of does look like some sort of like robot or something. Um, oh, God. Goodness me, that is terrifying. When when I finally kind of like when my eyes got used to it, there's almost like you can see like there's a little, it looks like one of the it looks like it's got a little white dot eye. Again, you're not going to be able to see it on this image I've got on the screen because it's so far away. Um do, do you think it's snake armor? I don't know. It's hard to say, but something does look like it's there. And I could be seeing things, it could just be like the rock formation. And the foliage coming together, which is more likely what it is, because uh, the it, it's almost like, you know, it, it's almost the same thematically 
as you move across to the right hand side of that uh, so it's probably nothing but i look at it and it just oh it gave me the chills when i saw something in it it was it was quite weird um i don't know but yeah i don't know what you, what do you guys think i don't think there's I, i'm going to have to ask about around on that one because i can't really see anything other than the location homage on this one uh any is there a cheeky shadow tracker hiding behind there i don't know i can't see um anyone seeing anything jungle bat question mark they don't hide eggs that much no you're right you're right actually scott they're too they're usually quite obvious with it aren't they um you're right it, it wouldn't be that difficult to isolate yeah i think you're right on that one i'm probably just seeing what my mind is seeing what i want to see i think there um but anyway anyway what did Max put? Energon bats. There you go. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yep, can't see anything. What we can see, though, on the far right-hand side is the call-outs. And at the top, we've got the, the Griffin patch, so we get to see that again. Like I said, it's appeared on Big Ben, Tunnel Rat, and now it appears on uh, Shockwave. We've got the Night Force logo, which is called out on the motorcycle. And also something that you don't really, we haven't really seen in any of the images, but the actual motorcycle display uh, on the the driver's display on the uh, the kind of dash, I guess you'd call it. Um, some nice little tampos and, and stuff in there. I like that a lot. Looks really nice um, for the night pursuit. What do you think about that as a name, by the way? That's the first. Um, obviously, that was the first time seeing it. Yesterday, uh, today, this morning was the first time of, of knowing about the night pursuit as a name. We only knew, um, we only knew what was it? Um, we only knew the listing for this one, and we didn't know what the listing was, uh, being Space Ghost, of course. And we didn't even know that Space Ghost was a, a figure vehicle set. So, again, that was a shock wave. But um, the actual name, I was we we were kind of trying to we were thinking of what they, what could they call it? They're probably going to give it a name. And lo and behold, yeah, lo and behold, it was Night Pursuit. Um, yeah. So what? Yeah, let me know what you think about the name, and maybe we can talk about uh, what you put what you might have preferred it to be called, like a night, a night night, <laughs> night night, in the night. Um, a night hawk, someone says, or street hawk says Viper. Yeah, Viper Scout. Uh, night cycle, keeping it very obvious there. Blitz, I like it. Uh, I like night pursuit with a drone. Drone locates, shockwave pursues. Good shout there, Flaffle. I like that. Yeah, I know. I quite like the night pursuit. I think it sounds kind of interesting. It does sound very eighties, doesn't it? It sounds like the night pursuit could have been like a TV show for a guy on a motorcycle back in the eighties. Uh, night fever, night fever. I like it, Diana. That's another good one. That's not a night. This is a night. I like that plastic. That that ain't a night. This is a night. I like that one a lot. Plastic battles. Um, you know how to do it? Yes, I do, Diana. Uh, he should have the monitor just like on Grunt's chest to see what that drone sees. That's a good shout, Jamar. Oh my God, yes. That would have been cool, wouldn't it? But then again, yeah, you wouldn't have the you wouldn't have the shockwave aesthetic without the secondary. If you had a different secondary, if what I'm saying there, um, the night ram says Michael White. Yeah, the night ram sounds horrible, doesn't it? God, I went out for one of them night rams the other night. <laughs> um, uh. Night 2000 Pursuit Mode. I like it, Max. Uh, classified Night Force Falcon need full sleeve tattoos, a bandana, and new weapons. And a new head sculpt, I'm afraid. Drone's name could be Night Raven. That's that's cheating, Kevin. That's cheating. Um, Chris, what the snake armor was able to transform like suit in the cartoon Transformers movie? I'm not quite sure what you're asking there, Crimson Vader. What... Oh, right. Sorry. What if the snake armor was able to transform like the suit in the cartoon Transformers movie? Got it. 
that would be amazing. So if it was like Spike or um, yeah, Spike's kind of um, uh, what do they call it? I've completely forgotten what it's called now. Exoskeleton or whatever it's called. Yeah, that was that was neat. I did like that. Um, like an Akiko motorcycle thing. Do you remember that? Was it a key? Not a Kiko. What was the name of the uh, motorcycle um, that that turned into a, a body armor? Who was the the driver for that? Do you remember that back in like Pursuit of Cobra ish time period? What was it? Wasn't a Kiko because a Kiko is the the new character from the film. What was that bloody character's name? That's going to drive me mad, guys. You must remember what that was. It was a it was a motorcycle that transformed into armor for the GI Ashiko. Thank you, Figure Six Pack, Ashiko. So close to a Kiko, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's what that reminds me of. A Shiko, basically, which was yeah, the, the figure and motorcycle that and the motorcycle transform into armor for him. It was well cool. Really cool that I thought. Um was that one that was that wasn't cancelled, it was just really difficult to get hold of, right? I feel like it was almost there was like a bunch of stuff that got like canned in that time period. And um, I think the the cyclone got really, really difficult to kind of to uh, to find. I did get one though. Hasla classified hydro robots, Chris. Freaking mental! That would be amazing. Um, would for that would have to be for O ring, wouldn't it? Stidge, but that would be amazing. Um, I think they're so and and fill them up with water and everything. That would be so cool if you could do that with them. Uh, the helmet can be used for most other Joes too. Nice, it's not a head swap. I agree, Liquid Identity 101. I absolutely agree with you on that one. Um, I love the fact they made that helmet an actual helmet. Stop saying helmet. Um, obviously, we're getting Night Force Akiko next, lol. Uh, could that, I, I'd, I'll take, I'll take, that Akiko figure is amazing. I don't care what anyone says. I love Akiko. I love the figure. I love the character. I got to, I was very fortunate to chat with the uh, the actress who played uh, Akiko. Um, very, um, what's the word? I was very proud to have uh, spoken to all of those guys that were in part of, that, uh, part of that film, even though the film did not turn out the way we all wanted it to. I, I get that. But um, it was cool to do that. And uh, yeah, Akiko is awesome. Uh, I'll take a Night Force Akiko, although I don't think they're ever going to do that. I love the red on the eyes on the helmets. Yeah, so do I. I think it's really dope. I love the, the little kind of touches of red color, like on the drone, on his, um, on the steel core helmet, um, and on the dash. I think it's really, really, really cool. Then, of course, uh, this was the image that we were working on yesterday. Probably the best image of all of them, actually, um, in terms of you know giving you almost everything um, to of what to expect. Um, and of course, there was a few other things that we got in there as well. Obviously, the fact that it's uh, shockwave with the cap, um, and all the other aspects, like the the other uh, like weaponry and stuff that you get with this particular figure, uh, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, there's that. And then of course, we know it's shockwave. Gone through all this already last night, so I don't know why I kept this all in here. We've already talked about this. Um, the drone, obviously, originally with um, Foyer Floy. Um, and backpack. And oh, I didn't even think about this. Does he come with the, the tablet as well? You don't you can't see it. I don't think he I don't think he's gonna get the tablet, is he? I I would hope it was like stuck into the backpack and you just can't see it because it's in the backpack. But I don't think we're gonna get the tablet personally, which is a shame because you kind of need the tablet in order to operate the drone. Do you know what I mean? So maybe it is in there. Maybe it's just plugged into the backpack. I think that would be freaking amazing. Yeah, because I can't see I can't see the tablet loose in there. So maybe it is in there. Maybe it's not. That's a question I'm going to have to ask though. You can't even you can't really see there. I think you. I don't know. I'd be I'd be upset if we don't get it because I feel like he needs the tablet in order to operate the drone, much like Firefly is is doing is like you know showing you here. Exhibit A. Um, anyway, yes, of course, Clutch's helmet does have a red visor on it as well. So that's cool. 
Um, but yeah, it's the same helmet as Clutch's helmet. Stop saying helmet. Um, oh yeah, that's true, actually, Scott. The helmet could just be VR. You're right. You're right. Why would you have Covert Special Task Force written in bright white on your Covert bike? Yes, is the answer to that, Diana. Yes. Um, yeah, you can, there's a heads-up display on the helmet red lens. It is, yeah, like a little um, target on one side and some other stuff on the other. Absolutely. Uh, Chris, OT, but I just got my stuff from the Heritage Auction, including a bunch of carded Battle Force 2000 figures and Zorana. Amazing Future Fortress Maximus. Congratulations on that. Um, yeah, that was a crazy auction. Really cool. Um, went well. Uh, so I heard it went really well. Um, at least one Walmart Cobra would have been smashing. Uh, that's, yeah, true. Like one of each would have been nice, wouldn't it? Totally. We'll probably get more, just not this time around. There'll be more Walmart collector cons throughout the year. Um, and we'll just, they'll probably just spread, they've probably just spread it out a bit, haven't they? Let's face it. Um, maybe the helmet and the drone are connected. The controls will be voice commanded. Jamar, you're absolutely right. I just, I just would love it if he did have the, uh, the tablet. And I'm just looking at the backpack there as a close up. And it does look like, it does look like the tablet is in there because if you take the tablet out, it's a different design that you would see in that space. I think the tablet is in there. Yeah, because the design that you're looking at there is not the design of the empty space behind it. That is the design of the tablet being on there. I wonder if we're getting it. I wonder if we're getting the tablet. I know this is like the least big, the, the least like stakes ever. And I'm making it out to be like a big deal, but I I've now worked myself up into wanting the tablet. And I'm sorry, but that's just how I that's how I roll, as you guys know. I get I get I get fixated on these silly little things, don't I? Have you noticed that? What's the other thing I always get fixated on? Oh yeah, G.I. Joe. <laughs> um I like the digital camo paint on the pants. So do I, Snake Eyes the third. Um, I actually do as well. I'm glad they added it because if we, as I said before, if you look at the original Night Force Shockwave, there's nothing on him. He's, he's very, it's all very like block colors and everything. There's not like any, there's no patterns or anything like that. So I'm, I'm also very happy they went with a, a you know, because again, I think it kind of, it, 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 it kind of like, it kind of like lends to the character, doesn't it? It really kind of points it out that that shockwave because he's so synonymous with the digital camo on his blue version uh so yeah um they dropped the tnt maybe tablet was in that part of sprue mold could be jeremy but now i'm thinking it's in there but you're probably right it probably won't be included and um you're right. It was probably within that little um, that mold, that particular um, yeah uh, accessory mold. Be cool if the bike had controls and the drone mounted. That would be pretty cool, actually, Michael. But yeah, effectively, he's just going to have it on his backpack uh, instead because it doesn't mount to that. But yeah, so the bike would have been cool. They'd have had to retool it probably though, uh, retool some aspect of it, and that would be expensive. If they wanted to lean in on the Transformers crossover, a couple of weapons that transform like bike to armor would be cool. Totally. So yeah, that would be really neat if we got like a Shiko again with RC or something. That would be neat. Um we're definitely getting another deco for Trouble Bubble. You you think so? What's left? Do you think we're gonna get a Night Force Trouble Bubble? A Tiger Force Trouble Bubble? Trouble Bubble Bubble. Easy for me to say. What else is left? I, I I still need to get that Python trouble bubble. I think it's amazing, and I I still haven't got it yet. I feel I'm I'm letting the side down, aren't I? Um, is fewer skews for Walmart a sign of anything? I wonder. I don't think it's a sign of anything other than um, they're probably just changing how they do certain things. I I don't think I genuinely don't think it means anything negative. Is if what you're insinuating there, Stygian. I don't think there's anything negative in that. Uh, I think it's probably just from a 
control perspective, maybe. You know, like it's it's easier to do here's one slightly larger set rather than multiple figures. But you never know. It could just be for this particular Walmart Collecticon. You know, spread out throughout the year. Look at the look at the, at the end of the year, look at it from that point of view. Don't look at it right now on its own in a vacuum, shall we say. Look at the look at the line out. Sorry, look at the the figure lineup. And everything and and where it came across the whole year and then kind of go right what can we glean from this i think just seeing this like one set it doesn't really mean anything because target just had one set recently do you know what i mean and it was the it was two it was two it was a two pack i think what they're doing is this they they they're kind of trying this new two pack like thing or more deluxe sets for the exclusives, it would appear, and everything else that you can get everywhere else, at, you know, with ease, are the kind of your standard, you know, four figure wave, your figure and pet, your um, stuff like that. But yeah, I I would look at it. It's probably just a it's probably just a move. I don't know exactly the outcome, but like I said, it's probably best to look at it from a larger perspective at the end of the year. That's what I would suggest uh, in, in any case. Um, do you, you think they will all be Joes or do you think we'll see a Cobra figure from Walmart? Well, we've seen Cobra figures from Walmart. So, you know, it's not like they're not going to do them. We'll see more from Walmart. This isn't like a standalone um, thing. I imagine we'll see other stuff soon. What I'm getting at is there's more to come. <laughs> Not necessarily this Walmart Collecticon, but there's more coming. So, like I said, view it from a larger perspective further down the line. Um, maybe a zombie televiper. Oh, I'd love it if they start doing more zombie stuff. Like if they did, like Mole Rats was great. I love Mole Rats. I really, really enjoy that as an addition to the line. But I wouldn't be averse to some far out zombie vipers. You know, and some like you know, like you say, like like a three pack of a Tele Viper, a Viper, and a Cobra Trooper, but they're all zombified. How cool would that be? A zombie three pack? That'd be so amazing. I'd be all over that crap. I think it'd be sweet as fudge. Um, this is a universe where lasers made from snakes and magic volcano energy can make planes invisible to radar. I think white text on a covert or bike isn't an issue. <laughs> um, few excuse for Walmart, likely because it's not as profitable. Definitely a sign. So, nah, we'll see. Didn't Walmart have eight figures for 2022 and eight for 2023, even though distribution was laughably bad? We won't see that much this year, will we? Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we'll see what comes out, but we have a few listings for um, for Walmart in the future. Um, uh, I'm down for Night Force hit and run. I hope this is the only Walmart reveal. Still, never saw the last Joe Walmart wave in store. God, I haven't seen anything uh, in Walmart, but um, I don't think we're getting anything else for this Collecticon. So next week, I don't think we're having anything else. I think this, I know they said sneak peek, maybe they're just seeing one of them or whatever. I'm not sure. We, Like I said, we have other listings for Walmart, but I don't know when they're going to be revealed. And I would imagine they'll be revealed later on in the year. So again, we'll we'll have to kind of wait and see. I wouldn't put it past them to have done the sneak peek is just one item. So it's, oh, that's just the one thing. And then like next week they drop multiple pre-orders. But if I was a betting man, I would probably say this is all that's happening for Collecticon this time around. Uh, all we're getting, a figure vehicle set. It's all good. It's all good, guys. Um, plus, I mean, we're getting like, how much are we getting? Like it, it's it's mental that people are concerned about that. But when you think about just how much is coming out, it's there's going to be a lot of stuff. There's still loads of stuff we don't have details on, but we know is coming. Like we know, you know, we had there's there's like points in the year where I mean, what what are we in March, and we've already had. What we had seven during February, 
we had we've got this one there's another thing on in march again that that we're going to be talking about a little bit later on yes it's oh well it's probably o-ring um, and it's the collab stuff, but like, there's so much stuff. Can we just like be happy with what we have? Can we be happy and just be like, you know, it's still going, we're still doing well, you know, still churning them out, still got cool stuff to come. We've got a whole list of it we'll be looking at and we'll be going, oh my God, how are we going to, you know, where's all this going to fit? We've probably got another has lab as well. Like, it's just non-stop and i it's on one hand i've got people moaning that there are like you know fewer exclusives i've got on the other hand i've got people moaning they can't get them and on the other hand we've got people moaning there's too much stuff on the other hand we've moaning people that there's not enough stuff it's like what is going on are we have we all just lost our collective minds is that is that is that what's happening here Cheers. Cheers to losing our collective minds. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that's the thing, yeah. I mean, what, 60th? Retro is now, like, massive. Like, we're going to be getting another, what, six more retro figures this year? If not more, no, it won't be more. I think that, that, that the other three that we have on that line plan are definitely for 2025. So I would say, yeah, six more. Is that right? That can't be right. God, I think it is. I think it is. That's nuts. Anyway, lots and lots of stuff to come. And of course, 60th, like you say, and, and, and everything else. It's just uh, vehicles as well. Guys, they've had to, they've had to do, they're doing vehicles now. And not just the odd one here or there. I didn't expect them to do another RAM repaint based on the fact that we've got a vamp now and we're going to be getting a ferret and we're going to be getting others. Wow, this is crazy. It's blowing my mind just thinking about it. Um, anyway, sorry, I've missed a lot of comments because I just had a weird existential crisis there. Um did they drop the new HasLab yet? No, Heavy Metal Toy Box. That, toy box they did not. Uh, that's probably going to happen in June. Yo, Joe June. Um, oh, Chris, all we lost our collective minds ages ago. We did, Jeff, a little bit. I think I agree with you on that one. Anyone moaning for sexy time anymore? <laughs> if I don't like it, I don't buy it. Frankly, I can't even buy everything I like, so I don't and don't fret about it. Yeah, similar thing on that one, Diana. Like, I wish I could buy every single item that Classified has to offer. And I was at one point. But as it is now, it is genuinely, genuinely difficult to keep up. Um, thanks to Paul Plastic Battles, I have a buzzer on the way. So thank you for that, Paul. Uh, and the good folks at Roma Collectibles as well for a, a Steel Core 2 pack that's on the way so i'll be doing at least i have a couple of unboxings to do in the near future everyone goes i don't care um who cares about your silly unboxings um anyway I've, I've still got things to talk about here haven't i i think we've gone through all of the images though have we more or less there's the bike oh the ram the tiger ram oh collecticon yes so 14th and the 15th are the exclusive drops. I would imagine that the classified series uh shockwave and a night pursuit, I would imagine that'll be on the 14th. Just keep keep it locked because I'd imagine it'll be on the 14th and not the 15th. Who knows? We might have multiple on one day, we might have one each. We, they might reveal something else. Who knows? We'll we'll have to keep an eye out on it, uh, eye out for it. But as far as we're aware, it's just Space Ghost that has been uh, listed for this particular collector con. That's being Shockwave and the Night Pursuit, right? Then and then the other thing was this: um, what is going on with the image there? It's it's like the uh, the image is glitched in a major way on my screen. Uh, you can probably see that too. It's not a big deal. We we still see what we need to see, but it has glitched out quite dramatically um, on there. 
I don't know what's happening. Um, I think the Stinger is coming too. Heavy Metal Toy Box, it's heavily rumoured. And I think, although, although I think a lot of that rumour is based on the fact we have a vamp, but that is a very good reason to have that rumour because you're going to get retools and redecos of that vehicle without fail. So I think a Stinger is on the loose, I, uh, is possible. I think a Mark II, I think a Tiger Sting. Um, I think even a Python Sting has to be on the on the you know on the on the op op options. And I could see all of them. I could see them do all of those things. Uh, yeah, this particular. Um, this particular drop zone, Entertainment Earth drop zone, a uh, little kind of um, little little nugget of info, is almost hinting at the Transformers GI Joe collab crossover. Um, now, March the fourteenth is a transform. I mean, March is a Transformers month. They're doing multiple Transformers kind of um, reveals and pre-orders and so on and so forth. So, it's very highly likely that this particular drop talking about three and three quarter inches in the text on that thing. It says another new thing. It could be really, really big or three and three quarter inches. Sign up for a reminder and find out. It just hints at the, 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 the possibility that we might see the Triple T, which is the next one in the lineup. So we've had Triple T, Cup, Sarge and Leatherneck uh, as the listing leaked very not not too long ago sarge was talking about it before that anyway which is even more hilarious and then following that we had another listing leak for the optimus prime mobat with general hawk which is another really cool um you know possibility but i would imagine uh again if i were a betting man um i would have to say that i think this is the triple t with leatherneck and the sarge that's why I would. That's where I would put my money. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, of course, I look. I've updated the graphic. We Sarge is on there now. I didn't. I wasn't gonna put him on, but people kept saying Sarge should be on there, right? And I'm like, I get what you're saying, but I've already the Sarge is on the listings graphic. And then I would think about that for about five seconds. And then I'll go, yeah, but Retro CC and the IG Bat are also on that graphic. So you're right. So yeah, I I yeah, I I caved and I put the Sarge on the unofficial leaks page uh, as well. Just, you know, because so um and it kind of like no, it kind of like almost balances out a little bit. Um so unofficial leaks, we've got the Snowcat, Mad Marauders 2 pack. And of course, the Sarge, the Mad Marauders two pack being low light and spirit, all of which have kind of been leaked image wise. So it's no, no biggie on that one. Um, and then of course, Retro Cobra Commander, which has been like the longest serving listing we've had for the Retro um, series, which also changed at some point as well and became Casey. So um, we are expecting a Retro Cobra Commander as well. And again, I mean, who wasn't expecting that? Um, the Thunder Machine and Snowcat, of course, were um, from It's Chad. Uh, he's the one that kind of broke the, I guess, the kind of development news that they were being planned for the classified series. And uh, I dropped the IG bat by accident. And the Road Pig and Heart Wrencher were like leaks from... Um, T1 Toys, who had kind of put those two, Nemesis Immortal or Nemesis Enforcer and uh, Starduster in a kind of like, these are coming in the Classified series and then sort of backtracked. I think maybe had had a little little birdie had whispered in his ear. That's not the term I know, but um, he might have had a little, um, a, you know, nudge to ask to, re to change the, the wording on it. Uh, and it it turned into a, what was it? uh like a most wanted sort of list and then of course name only reveals came out almost days later for nemesis immortal and starduster so i do expect road pig and heart wrencher to get some sort of um name only reveal at some stage uh or just a or they'll just bring them they'll just show you straight off 
Uh, they'll just ignore the name only aspect. But there you go. They're the unofficial leaks. Haven't changed much. I just added the Sarge on there for lols. Uh, name only reveals official. Um, also, there you go. Hasn't changed. Um, I'm going to be doing, I'm in the process of doing the kind of graphics and all that kind of stuff for the Let's Talk Classified Saw Viper video. Um, then I'll do Dial Tone and then I'll do Frag Viper. So, uh, yeah, going to get those done over the next couple of weeks, I'd imagine. And everyone else has been sorted, covered, done. Um, yeah, excited to see all of these, actually. My God, there's some, absolutely, there's some really good ones in here. And there's some really, really good ones in here. It's not like I don't look at this lineup and go, dud, at all. It's all bangers. Bangers and mash. Uh, I don't get why they haven't dropped a Skyhawk. Again, I think that's on the cards. I think a Sky, those kind of mid range vehicles are definitely possibilities, I would say, heavy metal toy box. So excited the name Dial Tone said 80s Toy Boy. Me three, I swear. I'm so excited for Dial Tone. Um, I can't wait to get dial tone and mainframe. I those two like I feel like a proper like just absolutely ingrained in my psyche from from being a kid. There's just something so cool about those two like characters. I guess because they weren't like they weren't like your heavy hitter kind of military types. They weren't like your you know even though like I mean dial tone had a pretty awesome like rifle. But like I, I didn't see them as that. I saw them as like you know, ones working on comms, ones working in like, you know, on the computer aspect, like the hard drives, <laughs> do all the storage facilities, uh, the online storage, the Wi-Fi mainframe. I just saw them as doing like something slightly different than just you know, all guns blazing sort of stuff. So there was something that was really interesting about them. Um, so yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's what I'm saying. I can't wait for dial tone. Can't wait for mainframe. Excuse me. Ooh. It's getting late. Let's move on. Obviously, the digital renders we all uh, know about. I'm really hoping for a Dragonfly update before Yojo June. Uh, I feel like we probably will get something like that before then. Um, what we got? It's not very. We're not actually that far away, are we? It's only a couple of months. What are we in? We're in March already. April, May, June, bloody hell. Where is this year going? It was like Christmas yesterday, wasn't it? What the actual F? Um, so anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully some updates on Night Force Ripcord, Glenda, and Night Force Crazy Legs. Then, of course, we've got Retro Beachhead, which uh, we don't actually have, um, you know, we don't actually have a pre-order for him for Retro Cobra Eels, Retro Snow Serpent, or the Cobra Ferret, Ferret Scout. So are we waiting till Yojo June, or do you think we'll get those sooner? I don't know. That's an interesting mm. conundrum. Um, but again, they are only digital renders, so it's not like, you know, sometimes we've had digital renders last forever. The HMS, for example. The SMS slash, H slash HMS. Um, but yeah. Alpine buzzes my berries as well, Stygian. Um, okay, and the leak listings uh, final. It's the final countdown. So I this has been updated, but only I updated it last night. So it's not you know we've already seen this, um, but I've added obviously uh, shockwave and the ram. Although I've put the ram, I should put um, s wave and pursuit, but I can't fit that in there. So that's just yeah, I just, that's just how it's going to have to be. I've even had to like cut down shockwave's name to fit him in. Um, I had to do the same with R block and T wire because uh, they were just taking up way too much space on that screen. But yeah, we've unlocked that one nice. So that's nice to have that unlocked and, you know, that's a weight off. Um, but as you can see, there's an HB Zorak down the bottom on the left hand side. That's a Walmart um, exclusive listing. And then if you go on to the other side, there is an, there's an HB Blossom VEH, which could be Target. Could be Walmart. We don't know. Um, hopefully, we will find out sooner rather than later. And of course, we've got that Target Yogi as well, which we do know what that is. Um, and I will say now, no, I won't. I won't say now. I will keep that stum because that would, yeah, that that would have given the game away completely. I'm so glad I didn't say anything. Um, yeah, Yogi. Can't wait for that one. 
And um, yeah, there's a few obviously that we are just holding fire on until we get some sort of hell. If we see any leaked images or whatever, then yeah, we'll unlock them for you. But um, as it is, we kind of got to keep shtum on this one. But yeah, very cool. And I think that's pretty much. I think that's pretty much everything. Um, we we still don't know. We still don't know what we don't know, and we still can't say what we can't say. Nothing's really changed since yesterday. So uh, there you go. Um, right, let's bring this one to a close. We're going to switch to a sort of like, I'll, I'll you know Q and A. If you've got any questions, we'll start. I'll, I'll answer them while we're here for a few more minutes. Um, if not, we'll we'll get to we'll get to step in. But uh, uh, Flaffle says Yogi Saber Tooth or Wreckage can't say won't say. Um, heavy Metal Toy Box Deaf Tiger Paw Slave says I'm guessing Tiger Paw. <laughs> oh, good luck, good luck, guys, in guessing what it's going to be. I think Haslab might be a Ratless as Heavy Metal Toy Box. I think you you and probably about. 90% of the fandom think that's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's um, it's a possibility, isn't it? Um, I mean, let's think about, like, Yojo June for a second. It's gonna be, if it's going to be anywhere near, if it's going to be anywhere near what last year's was, I, I don't think I can keep up. I think my mum and dad are coming to visit in that time. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be like, sorry, guys, I've got to do another six news bursts um, because, you know, what? It's going to be bonkers, isn't it? It's going to be absolutely bonkers. Um, it's going to be one of those months where at the end of it, it won't be the end because you've got July, which becomes Yojo July. Do you remember last year? It just got worse. I mean, better, but worse. Like more stuff just kept coming in. It was absolutely bonkers. Um, oh, questions. Cool. Sorry, I missed a few. How are all, how are you all doing out there? How is Kate and Phoebe? Thank you, Diana. They're doing great. We're all doing really we're doing really well. Uh, we love our house and we get to that point when we come home and we're just really happy to be home. Um, and yeah, it's it's great. We love this place and um yeah, it's having a having a blast. Having a blast. Uh, Metalhead code listing says Marb's hobbies. Uh, Metalhead was Captain Caveman Deluxe, I believe. Uh, it's an old one. It's an old code, but it checks out. Yeah, I never thought I'd be able to use that. <laughs> I probably have said that joke before, but Marb's yeah, Metalhead was uh, Captain Caveman Deluxe, I believe. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I know Jeremy. You usually know what the code words were because you 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 know better than I do. Even if I'm the one giving you the information, um, is Metalhead Fanmazen? Did you say eighty sword? But is he? I don't remember what he was. Yeah, Captain Caveman. Thank you, Jeremy. You're right. Yeah, I was right. I should say. Um, <laughs> thank you, Blitz. It was a Star Wars quote. Um, what we say in here. Uh, sorry, I've missed a few comments. Yogi is deaf a Python Patrol Ram and a Valkyrie. It's not definitely that, Jeremy. In fact, it, it isn't that, but okay. Um, just got here. Any new leaks other than Shockwave? No, Killer. I think everything is... I think that's all we're getting for Walmart Collecticon is Shockwave and the uh, Night Pursuit. I don't think we're getting any other... <laughs> Uh, I don't think we are, because um, they've done the sneak peek is usually everything they're doing for the next pre-order drop. So I don't think they're hiding anything from us. They could be, because we do have a few uh, listings on the list that we're looking at right now that uh, could line up with uh, Walmart. I mean, that one at the bottom left is a Walmart exclusive um, listing, Zorak. So there's a possibility we could be getting something, but I would imagine that would be for a later collector con, honestly. If Haslab isn't Rattler, I'll be shocked, mostly hoping, and I desperately need Wild Weasel. I think I think it would be a pretty decent Haslab, honestly, Stidge. I think it would. Um, Transformers, four weeks of live streams for the 40th. Yojo June 60th. Oi, I know. I know. Um, Chris, how fast do you think the next Haslab will fund? Well... It'll be rapid. It will be. It will be rapid. Um, no matter what people say, 
or claim that they don't want or do want it will it will sell out it'll be it'll it will fund no problem and it will be it will be quick i don't know if it will like it's difficult to say isn't it like whether it will break records or what have you but the dragonfly did bloody well considering like the dragonfly did really well and i'm happy it did because i bloody love the dragonfly i'm more excited for the dragonfly believe it or not than i than i was for the hiss tank and the hiss tank blew my bloody socks off so like it's gorgeous i love the hiss tank i think it's incredible but the dragonfly is where my heart is at do you know what i'm saying like the dragonfly is where my that's where my soul resides so when it, when I get that in hand, that is going to be some sweet, sweet classified loving. <laughs> Sounds when the way I say it, it makes it sound gross. Um, but anyway, uh, if it is a rattler, it will fund in forty eight hours. I think it will probably fund quicker than that. Why was Metalhead's code name perfect? I Captain Caveman. It really was, wasn't it? Um, Return of the Jedi says Johnny B54. Yep, absolutely. Or Roger, as I call it, because it's funnier to say it that way. Um, regarding Haslab, Lenny said their focus was land, hiss, sea, question mark, and air, dragonfly. If it's going to be sea, more a hydrofoil, please. McMurphy, hell yes. If they do a more, forget about it. Like, game over. That thing would be phenomenal. Uh, Polar Battle Bear should come with Iceberg. I agree, if they do one. I think they'd do... I, I would love to see a Polar Battle Bear. Yeah, actually, with Iceberg. Because Iceberg comes is, is so screwed in the vintage era for accessories. He deserves a vehicle of his own and a ton more accessories, actually. Um... Oh, God, the hammerhead is insane, yeah. I guess Python Patrol RAM because they need all the RAM decos, lol. <laughs> Currently thinking Blossom is a stinger or an outside chance of Triple T. Also, it's not target Walmart unless something has changed very recently. So, Blossom, R-sharp. Now, let me get this... Let me kind of explain this in a way that doesn't confuse the crap out of myself. Because as far as we're we're aware, HB, the HB designation means target or Walmart. As far as we're aware. That's the that's the pattern so far. Yogi, target. Zorak, Walmart. Boo Boo, target. Um HB Blossom VH, we don't know. HB Space Ghost, Walmart. Um, so we know that the HB designation means exclusive for Target or Walmart. I'm assuming Blossom VH is the same. I'm assuming, I don't know why, but I feel like it might be Target. Uh, I know we've had what Yogi and Boo Boo so far for Target um, listings. That doesn't mean they can't have Blossom. It, they might just be like, I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs on that one. Um, but I'm assuming it's got to be some sort of um exclusive to target or walmart unless there's a new exclusive avenue all of a sudden i don't think it'll be amazon because why do i don't think it'd be amazon because they do like they do the fanmazon thing now which is a different designation i d it, it i don't want to say yes or no to what you're saying i think a stinger is 100% possible possibility but I don't know where it would fit in the Walmart target sort of thing. That said, HB Blossom VEH could be like an outlier, couldn't it? It could be something else. But we won't, we'll only know when we know. And I'll try and, if I can relay that information for whatever reason, I definitely will. Um, Do you have any idea when you will have that meeting with the Hasbro team? Well, Wilfredo, I've been chatting with Lenny today, um, kind of like going, you know, or he's actually asked, when when are we having our interview? <laughs> and I was like, well, I put in for it in November. <laughs> and I have been back and forth, well, not back and forth, I've been forth and forth with, um, you know, 
the 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 team that I have to connect with regarding these things and haven't really been getting much back so or anything so I don't know maybe I've been blacklisted from uh, no I'm, I'm kidding I haven't um I was I Lenny confirmed that wasn't the case um I think it's just a busy time and I saw they were getting uh, interviews with other people and it was it was getting me jealous and I was getting really jealous and I was like hang on this is like the second interview that they've kind of done recently why can't I get mine sorted out so I don't have an answer because I'm not getting you know what's the word I'm not I'm not getting the information I'm not getting the information I need yet oh sweet okay um anyway sorry something that was, I got sidetracked for a second now on something completely different. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm in I'm in contact. I'm I'm always in contact with them, but it's just getting the official thing set up is always a bit of a pain. I hope really soon. I would I want to uh, hope it's next week, but you know you know how it is. It's you're dealing with big corporations that have a lot of red tape, and if you're not like a big fish, which I'm not a big fish, am I at all? Like I'm very low on the uh, priority radar for someone like Hasbro and their uh, affiliation kind of teams and stuff. So we'll hope, you know, Lenny wants to do it. Emily wants to do it. I want to do it. It would be great if we could do it um, soon, but we'll see. We shall see. Right. Jeremy says, Chris, I have an idea for an interview. You should have Diana on and talk about her role with the comics. A hundred percent. We've kind of jokingly talked about that recently. Um, oh, thank you, Jeremy. Chris, you're my favorite fish. I appreciate that. Uh, Chris. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, cool. Well, well, yeah, anyway, so hopefully soon is my answer to that. Um, I really want to speak to Emily and Lenny very soon. I've wanted to speak to them since November. I even put in a, um, a request for BMAC, and that was, like, so close to being done, and then just, again, fell off the fell off a cliff. And it's like, what's happening? Like, I would love to do any of this stuff. I Yeah, Diana, we definitely should have you on. I think we should get you on mark and even tim possibly and we should just do like a comic special i think that'd be really cool and talk about your role and all that stuff as well and and what you've been doing and all that jazz because i know you've done that with mark and tim so far but i think it'd be really cool to do like a comics kind of skybound sort of vibe maybe you could even join me for a comics news burst one day diana that'd be kind of fun um where we talk about stuff that's already happened as opposed to stuff that you can't talk about um i think that'd be cool i think that'd be great and i'm sure everyone would love to have you on as well and and hear you talk about the comics. I, I yeah, let's do it. Let's get that sorted. Anyway, that will be it for me tonight, guys. I'm going to go and probably collapse and go to sleep now. Um, massive shout out to all of you wonderful listeners and viewers who keep the lights on here at Full Force HQ. No, seriously, we love. I love all of the support, all of the great, you know, interaction. I really enjoy doing these lives. I know, you know, it's, it, I'm nearly getting back into the editing train. Um, I'll have my, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, we had to reschedule the Brian Flynn interview, but that's happening tomorrow. So we'll get that recorded. And then hopefully over the weekend, I can get it edited probably out by, well, depending on when it gets as um, uh, signed off on, it will probably be like Monday or something or in the week, but I'll get that out soon. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I've also been, I've been doing a lot of reaching out recently to all the people I want to do interviews with. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to get that kind of moving as well with all the other interviews, like um, Shooting the Galaxy and Emily and Lenny and, you know, what what have you. Um, it'll all happen. We'll all get it. We'll get it done. All right. I'll get it done. Have a wonderful evening. Stay fresh cheese bags. And as always, after three, you know what to do. One, two, three, full night force. It's not always night force, but obviously today makes sense.
That's it for this installment of the Full Force News Burst. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on X, formerly Twitter, at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Full Force. We've also added a brand new Instagram so check us out there as well at The Full Force Podcast and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on any of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force